Mushrooms are the non-animal world's meat. Now, I'm going to turn a bunch of mushrooms into a steak, but not how you normally would see to where like you would either press them or you would just flavor them and slice them. No, we're gonna use the structure of the mushrooms. See, these mushrooms, a lot of them can pull apart into individual strands. We're gonna take these strands, flavor them up, and then put them back together to make ourselves a realistic steak. Now I have about two pounds of these small king oyster mushrooms. Now I'm calling these small mushrooms because king oyster mushrooms will get fairly large. Um, normally I would say you would probably use about four to six large king oyster mushrooms. I'm just gonna brush them down with a paper towel and then I'm going to cut those tips off. We don't want those. That's the only bit of trash from these mushrooms. Now there's a few ways to like strip these mushrooms to get the, the fibers like pulled apart. I've seen people use like a fork. We're not gonna do that. We're just going to just peel. We're gonna try to get these fibers fairly small. And then I'm also gonna try to keep them organized and all kind of going the same direction. So now that we have everything shredded, we have a big pile of mushrooms, we have a pile of shreds and a pile of chunks. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these set to the side while we get our flavor broths mixed up and our binders mixed up. This is going to be what compresses down into a few steaks. I'm thinking I should be able to get four. I don't know, fingers crossed, let's see. So for the steak, I'm gonna use a half of a cup of water. Just start your blender on a low speed. And for the binders, we're gonna be using a tablespoon of methyl cellulose and a tablespoon of kappa carrageenan. This is what's going to hold all of that together. Now the color is gonna be about a teaspoon of beetroot powder. Beetroot powder has a really cool properties. It's pink when it's cool and then turns kind of like a brown when it cooks, which is really neat. And I'm also gonna be using this Shangi beef flavor broth mix. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of that. There's no beef in it. It's artificially flavored. I'll do one more teaspoon of the beetroot powder. Now at this point, I just wanna toss most of these mushrooms here, most of the strands, not the, the ends here, but most of the strands, we're gonna to toss with two tablespoons of pea protein isolate. This is gonna be kind of the thing that helps lock everything together. Let's add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, two tablespoons soy sauce, tablespoon rice vinegar. Now I just have one more cup of water that we're gonna mix with about a teaspoon of Marmite, teaspoon molasses, and a teaspoon liquid smoke. Let's give this mixture a really nice whisk. And then now let's pour over our broth. So at this point we have our flavored mushroom, our not flavored mushroom that's just left white, uh, our binder and color with a little bit of flavor in it. And then I'm gonna use a bread pan that kind of helped build it. We're gonna eventually pull it out, but now I'm gonna line the bread pan with a pretty large sheet of parchment paper. We're just gonna stuff it down in there. So all I'm gonna do is just take some of my flavor binder here, coat the bottom, and we're just gonna do like a nice thin coat on the bottom. And then now just take our flavored pieces of mushroom and lay them in and make sure that they're laying in, like I said, this direction, the long ways direction. And then keep kind of layering up. Those dry pieces are gonna help with like the marbling and some of the coloring. And you can even add some of the buttons in there at certain points. Now the only way that this works is if these mushrooms are tightly, tightly packed in here. So I'm gonna fold the sides in, push down pretty firm, fold this other side in, push down pretty firm. And then I just wanna tightly wrap this with foil. There we go. Now that we have our little steak brick here, I have the oven preheated for 350 degrees. We're gonna throw this in the oven for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna use a thermometer on it after the 45 minutes. I wanna make sure the internal temperature reaches about 160 degrees. So once the mushroom steak reached the temperature in the oven, I went ahead and removed that from the oven. I threw it on a cutting board, and then while it was still hot, I wanted to kind of compress that down. So I threw two cast iron skillets on top of it just to kind of like, you know, really get it pressed down. Once it was pressed down and started to kind of cool down to closer to room temperature, I threw it in the refrigerator overnight. Okay, it is the next day. We're unwrapping this just to see, make sure that it's set. I believe it did. This is gonna be so awesome a legit mushroom steak. <laughs> so at this point you can see the congealed like liquid, the congealed broth 
Um, that is what is making up the ends. We're just gonna trim these pieces off to really get us, you know, a very solid steak, if you will. And then we just wanna cut this into, it looks like we're gonna get about three good solid steaks. Uh, probably, well, I just did, we're gonna do four, I think. Let's see, one, yeah, four will be good. So now that we have these steaks, really all we're gonna do is we're just gonna load them up with some salt and pepper. We're gonna throw them in the skillet with a little bit of olive oil. We want a decent amount of olive oil because we really wanna brown these up. I'm gonna throw them on the textured side. That's gonna be the side that's gonna get, well, we're gonna cook them on all four sides, but we really wanna sear the textured side. Look at these steaks. Unbelievable, and the smell is just incredible. Okay, I mean, as you can see, these things cooked up, they firmed up, they are really, really nice. They smell amazing. I'm so excited about these steaks. If you like mushroom steaks, you know, just eating mushrooms, oh, and then it just slices beautifully. Wow. <laughs> so it definitely has the texture of like mushroom, but just put together and a little bit better of like a bite, a little bit better of a chew. We're able to really like flavor this up. I think this would be really fun in a few different ways. Mm. That's really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Like I love this. It's meaty, but it's still mushroomy. It's still mm -hmm. like. Yeah, it's not like you'd eat this and be like, oh, I'm that's eating a steak. That's a mushroom, you know, like. Yeah. But it's delicious. And it still has a meaty texture, like. Yeah. If you want a good substitute.